Hello everybody. What we're going to do is we're going to review a cool website called Dropbox. It is a device that you can use or a utility that you can use uh, to store files, share files, share pictures, store pictures. Um, it is a very, very cool thing. In most cases, it's a good substitute for either emailing a bunch of pictures or documents to somebody or putting them on a zip disk and drive them across town or, or, or FedExing them somewhere. It's a very quick, efficient way. And in most cases, uh, you should be able to use this for free. Um, they give you two gigs of, of storage uh, for free. And as long as you manage it, in most cases, it shouldn't cost you a penny. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is there are a couple of different types of emails that if somebody sends you a, um, a document or a, or, or a file, that you will receive and this, these are some of the first things you're going to see when you're dealing with Dropbox. If somebody, if, I know for example when I take pictures I like to send them to agents in a Dropbox folder because it's a much more efficient way and it's a much more organized way than sending you know four or five different emails. One of them might get lost, you never know what's going to happen. But this way I load it in, I send them one link and they can download it and go. Um, there are two different ways that somebody can send you information. One is they can send you a link, which um, this is the most basic one. This is the one if you don't have a Dropbox account, you can download the photos and view them. Um, and this particular thing, it just says shared test file with me. Um, it gives me a link here to view the file that I've sent, and I named it test file. You know, I could have named it 123 Overlook Road if I wanted to. So, and if I click on this particular type of a link it is going to pull up the three photos that were in that folder that somebody uh, shared a link with to me and I'm going to open it up and show you that you know we've got three different pictures of the front of this house right here uh, that I can view um, and there are a couple things I can do out of here with this particular um, and again I'm going to show you how to create these links and create these emails to people when we actually get into the Dropbox uh, website there are two different things that you can do uh, with this link when somebody sends it to you. And you can do one of these without a Dropbox file and the other one you would need to have a Dropbox file to do. If you tap on this right here, you can see download a zip. So if, for example, uh, somebody, if, if I took pictures and sent an agent pictures, this is how I would send it to them. That way they didn't have a Dropbox file. If they wanted to download them to the computer, all they would do is hit download a zip and you'll see it's creating a, a zip file down here. I've actually, this is my second take, so I've already downloaded that file one time. But I just downloaded this right here. I'm going to double click on that, and what it's going to do is I'm going to double click on it, and it's going to open them up, and it's going. It is, there we go. And it opens up, and I'm going to hit my view and put an extra large icon. So you can see those are the three pictures that were sent to me in the Dropbox file. I've downloaded them, now I have on my computer. When you download them, one thing that is incredibly important is to be able to find them once you've downloaded them. So pay attention to where they go. Most of the time for me, they go with me. They, when I download something, it goes into my downloads. So this PC downloads and this is the file name. Um, and this is where you're gonna find these, the, either documents or pictures or whatever it is you've downloaded. This is where you're going to find them in the future. Uh, you can copy them and move into another folder, do whatever you want to. But this is how you, you know, you get them and select them to put them on the MLS or whatever, you know, whatever you're going to do with the pictures. So this is that's how you download them. If you have a Dropbox file, the other option is copy to my Dropbox, and I'm going to show you that here shortly. If I weren't logged in and I had a file and I hit on that, it would prompt me to log in um, to my account, as you can see right here if I hit that it's going to tell me to sign in or create an account um, what I'm going to do now is now I'm back in the home screen Dropbox here, here's the other option is and again I'm going to show you how to do these but um, when you share a file with somebody the first one was called sharing a link with somebody sharing a file with somebody is if you're going to be working with somebody on an ongoing basis on a project um, for example, Cherie uh, has an intern that works with us, and he works at home, and, 
and they're constantly working on ads together. So they're putting them in a shared folder, and they're working on them, putting them back in. So there's an ongoing uh, uh, collaboration, whatever you want to call it, with them working in that particular folder, so they have it shared between them. The link that we looked at earlier is more of a one-shot deal where if you wanted to send pictures to somebody or send files to somebody one time, that's more of what that's intended for. So um, both of them are, are very valuable, and they both have their place uh, within Dropbox. Okay, now that we've showed you the two, now, oh, if you share a folder with somebody, you can see view folder. This, in order to view this, you have to have a Dropbox account. So if I click on that, it is going to prompt me to either sign in, uh, right here put my username and password, or it's going to tell me to create an account. So, um, but those are the two different types of emails that you receive, and really it's just a recognition. One of them is going to force you to have an account and log in, and the other one will allow you to view the folder, view the files, and download them, and move them to your Dropbox account if you wanted to. Um, if you wanted to sign up for an account on the home screen, you put in first name, last name, email, and password, agree to terms, hit it, and you're uh, pretty much good to go and log in. The um, it will start downloading some some software for you. You don't really have to work with that. Uh, once you sign up, you are pretty much ready to go ahead and sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and hit sign in right here. I'm going to open up one of the accounts that I have. I have three. Don't be afraid. Um, and that so I can type. All right. Let's see if I type that in right. Yes, I did. Okay. When you first open up your account, for the most part, this is what you're going to be looking at. All you're going to have, this one little folder in here, is going to be your getting started. And that just gives you some information on how to work with Dropbox. Um, I'm going to show you one little thing up here in your account. You get two gigs of storage in your account for free. Absolutely no cost. Just as long as you keep the file stored in your account under two gigs, it's free. As you can see, this little line, I have a tiny little bit of my account used right here. Um, so this kind of gives you a visual of how much you've used. Uh, you can go in and settings and upgrades if you want to. Of course this is how you sign out right here with the sign out, but I'm not going to go over a lot of that today. Um, first thing I'm going to do is, you remember how in that one particular email it gave us the option to, I'm going to open it back up, I just want to show you how something works. It opened up this and it gave me the option when I was looking at that link to copy or copy to my Dropbox. I like this file. I want it in my Dropbox, so I'm going to copy it to my Dropbox. And as you see, we open up. Bingo! That test file moves in over here. So I'm going to open it up. These are the same pictures that we saw in the email and we are ready to go with those and I have them in my Dropbox file. Now to get back kind of to your home just hit the little blue Dropbox right up here and then you can see these are the files that we have in this area. Now we also mentioned uh, the sharing of the folders. If somebody shares a folder with me you will get a notification up here that they've shared a folder with you. If I tap on that it's going to say I have one new shared folder invitation. Now again, if I send somebody um, just a link, they're not going to receive this. But I, f I want them to have this and I want to work with them within a folder. This is what I would do. So I'm going to tap on that. It's going to give me the option to accept it or decline it. I'm going to accept it. Join the shared folder. I'm going to close it. I'm going to go back to my files, tap right here, and you will see now I have that shared folder test also, and I have um, the images that are available to me out of that. So those are just some basic little things um, right there. Now, okay, if I want to do some things with this particular file right here, um, if I highlight that file, whoops, I just messed up. I went farther than I wanted to. If I highlight that file, I have invite, share link, download, and delete um, when I'm managing it. 
the first option is invite to folder. If I click on that, I can put in the address of who I want to share it with. Uh, one of the cool things about this is if you wanted to allow people that you shared it with to share it with others and give them some control over the folder, you can check uh, leave this box checked. If you want to stop with them and not go any further, you check that. Uh, you can put any message you want to in here. Um, hit share and it will go to them. Now this that particular shared folder that I just did, this is what they will wind up getting um, an email that in order for them to be able to view the folder they're going to have to be a member of Dropbox. Um, within their account, let me get rid of that right there, they will also get a notification in the sharing that you've shared a folder and they can either accept or decline on sharing that folder and be able to look at it and work with you on that. The second option is to share the link. Let me show you what that looks like again. That is the particular link. If there was somebody that you wanted to send something to that was not a Dropbox member, or you didn't know if they were a member, or this is how you would uh, work with them on that. Or, um, But again, they click that. They can actually view the images without being a member. They can download it, and they can copy the Dropbox. And this is something that you're going to send to somebody. They're not going to really forward it or anything, but you're just kind of, um, if I take photos, of a particular home for a client, a real estate agent, I'll forward them to them this way um, and then they can download them and, and, and do whatever they want to after they download them. So, but those are the type of, as far as the sharing goes. Now, if you had these particular uh, photos and you want to download them, if I want to download the whole file, I just click download and it's going to put another test zip file down here for me where I can double click on that and open it and then I have them on my computer or if I just want to download one particular photo I can double click and open up the file click on one particular photo and download the one that I want to now if you want to select multiple items just click on an item hit the shift key and then click on it and it will highlight the ones that you've selected right there um, so that's just a way if you want to select multiple items you can do that um, the other um, option if I want to delete an individual picture out of there. I select that photo, highlight it, and hit delete, and it will prompt me to choose if I want to delete it. Now if I want to delete the whole folder, I highlight that folder, hit delete, and away we go right there. Now the last thing I want to show you is how to create a folder. If you wanted to create one, maybe share it. If you want to store some information, uh, up top, it's these four little items right up here, you go to the one which is new folder and I'm just going to name it new test folder. Whoops, I misspelled it. New test folder F. We'll get over it though. We're okay. Uh, as you can see, I open it up. This folder is empty. If I want to add something, I just go to the upload right here. Click on it. It's going to prompt you to choose files on your computer. And let's say I want this front cover shot of this particular home and I want to save it. Just hit open. And you're going to see that it's highlighting itself across as it loads that particular photo. It kind of gives you an estimate of how much time is left. And um, shortly, within about uh, 12 seconds, 10, 9, somewhere in that ballpark, we should have a folder to look at. I'm glad I didn't select more than one folder. Um, these are pretty large files, by the way. And you can see that it's done right there. I'm going to click done. I have that image in there. There's the image of the front of that house. I can then, with my new test folder, I have all the options to invite, share, download, and go with it. Of course, I can also delete it if I wanted to. But these are, for the most part, the basics of Dropbox. It's a very valuable tool. Uh, it, it can make you more efficient and streamlined on how you share items. It can, you can use it as cloud storage if you want to. It's, it's pretty cheap if you wanted to do a ton of storage on there, but for a minor amount, I mean, with what I have, whoops, I, Windows 8, thank you. Um, but as you can see, even with these folders on here, I've used barely any of that. You have a pretty good bit of space, and in most cases, you're going to be able to work within the free. And again, um, if anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call. And we can help you work through stuff. That's part of what we do. 
and especially for our preferred customers. And let us know if you need help, and have a good day.